Welcome back to 8482 Media. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the basic layout of Illustrator so that perhaps for the overwhelmed and confused first timers with this program, you'll feel a little bit less lost. I'll be focusing on the two most important tools, the selection and the direct selection tools. So starting off on the left hand side, we have our tools area. You can click on these little arrows here to have it, I mean, either more spread out. I mean, it, this is really up to personal preference. Um, and these are the tools that you'll be working with all the time. They're easily accessible. If you want to find other tools or you want to edit your toolbar, you can click on these three little dots here and you'll have all the tools that Illustrator um, provides us with. So if you just want to, for example, have the bar graph tool, you can just grab that and just drag it somewhere here. And you can just always like move it around easily by dragging and moving. Now on the left hand side, I'm gonna go away from that. On the left, right hand side, <laughs> sorry. We have properties and layers. These are really the main two important ones. Um, libraries, this is, um, for, I mean, when you need to be more organized and you have many projects going on, um, sometimes you just want to save assets so you can just use them more easily. Um, you don't have to recreate them all the time. And comments really is um, when you're sharing, you know, files uh, onto the cloud and with other people. So properties, properties just shows you. So for example, for the facilitation of this um, tutorial, I a square and as there's a square on our artboard it just shows us that the square has a black stroke that's one point um, it has 100% opacity and that its fill is white um, over here you just have sort of the basic dimensions um, so for us to see these dimensions right because our square is not selected we're going to use the selection tool so the selection tool and the direct selection tool are the main tools that you need all the time if you just want to select whichever shape however these two tools are also very different so the selection tool just allows you to grab and move and increase and decrease the shape and size um, this is the basic tool um, as we've selected the square, we can see it, the dimensions here. However, grabbing the direct selection tool, we can directly edit the anchor points. Now the anchor points are the corners of the square. Now, instead of selecting the whole square, as the selection tool does, the direct selection tool just allows you to do more detailed edits um, to areas to corners of our shape these are the main two tools they're shortcuts so the shortcut for the selection tool is v and for the direct selection tool it is a now i'm constantly using v and a on my keyboard it is much quicker um, so i recommend you just already practicing that and getting the hang of it I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, comment them below and we'll get them answered. Thanks for watching and I hope that this helped you out. Have a good one.